Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. You talk about uh, style and a car that has weathered the storm of style, not to mention this particular example here being a 31,400, probably has around 31,500 original documented miles. It is spectacular. Mostly everything on the car is original. Uh, we've got a couple small upgrades around that, and on top of it, the upgrades that were done, uh, the uh, small pieces that were replaced are still in the trunk in little bags. So. Uh, uh, I don't know, this is just a cool, cool piece, and I have to tell you, in my time of doing these cars, which is uh, going on, say, I don't know, two to three hundred years now, um, I have never seen an interior, especially an original interior, this old and this spectacular the condition of it. So let's take a look around for a second. I like to, to take this thing right here and come on up here and check this out. Look at this paint. Now, mostly this paint is all original. We did clear coat the top surfaces of it because over time, after waxing and things like that, uh, you get those kinds of things. But this is called Azure Blue Metallic. And look at this, man. This is back when Mercedes was Mercedes. Hand-built cars, the doors clunk when you close them. I mean, it's like a vault. That's why people bought Mercedes. That's why this car right here, keep in mind, 1977, this car was 44,000 original dollars, $44,000 window sticker on this car in 1977 which probably puts us in the, uh, you know, the $120,000 range at this time. That's why there weren't so many of these on the road. But this particular example was garage cap, probably a third or fourth car, and uh, with 31,000 original miles, it is off the hook awesome. All right, so uh, some of the things that I look for in a car when I'm getting a car now, I got this car from the family, and check this out. If this is your baby, you're going to buy the best tire you can. You're not going to overpay, but you're not going to put on some cheap tires because uh, you're keeping the car. You put cheap tires on when you're going to flip it to somebody else. In this case here, we picked it up with this nice set of Michelins, color-matched uh, stainless wheel covers, okay? And just look at the body lines and pavement and everything. Like here, the moldings are still, the stainless is polished. Uh, all of this seems to fit really well still, and it's just weathered the storm so well as far as uh, uh, originality and just so well preserved. I get a little excited about this, man, because think about this. This is a 77 car. We're in 2012. That's uh, a long time ago. <coughs> Excuse me. And on top of it, uh, I could never take care of a car this well. So somebody really, really loved this car. So uh, some of the things that like we haven't done, which is kind of cool to see, believe it or not, is what's under the hood. All right, so let's take a peek under the hood for a minute. What I wanted you to hear is this. Everything is so solid, and this is really cool. Like, check this out. These are original stickers from 1977. These aren't replacement stickers. I didn't detail this engine compartment. This is the way I got it. All the hoses look really nice. The battery is upgraded, but this car has factory air conditioning, power disc brakes, four-wheel disc brakes back in the day, power steering. Some of the other nice features I see in here, too, are things like, for instance, like here you have a mechanical fan, right? Okay, as well as an electric pusher fan. And because you have an air conditioned car, they put the condenser in front of the radiator, that helps keep the car a lot cooler. You throw five or so people in this car with the AC on on an August day, you're still riding fine. Don't worry about overheating. The car makes plenty of power and it drives awesome, all right? The chrome on the grill is still spectacular. The headlights still look good. I mean, this car is really, you know, I don't know if it's 101% all original, but almost everything on it is, and it looks really, really nice. Okay, so uh, the 280 SEs, SEs meaning fuel injection back in the day, and the SEs of this vintage are the upgraded interior cars, the much nicer version of them, and you get a few nice features in it because of the SE package. But more importantly, they did a nice job styling this car. Step bumpers here and here, right? And then here, nice chrome trim. But I want to show you something. This is really cool. Like, these are original stickers, OK? Carpet hasn't been replaced back here. A couple small things we talked about earlier that, uh, like, over time. For instance, like this right here. Check this out. This is the original ashtray. You say, well, what's the big deal? Well, it's still in really great shape. But over time, the clear uh, has cracked. So they replaced it and put in a new one, all right? It looks like the people were not smokers, which is nice. Okay, not that that's bad, but you can smoke if you like, but this one here, in case you don't like smoke, it doesn't smell like smoke. Okay, so this is just, uh, uh, I don't know, this is so well preserved, I get so excited about it. Even things like the moldings and the weather stripping and things like that just look really good. All right, let's take a peek inside, because inside is where this car really shines, and I want to get in the back seat, and let's talk about that for a second. Okay, I wanted to come back here, because I wanted you to see, uh, I feel like I'm talking quiet, because I don't want anybody to hear about it, but like everything in this car, is so well preserved and so nice. 
and we didn't fold up the seat belt here, and I did not like that. Like, check out the chrome trim of the baskets on here. Look at the interior of this car, the carpets. The floor mats are not standard, but you know what? They really add a nice touch to the car for a little more, uh, a little more luxury. The chrome on the seat belts is still in really good shape. But look at this here. The headliner, the chrome trim here. Little map lights still work in the corners, man. Check this out, 77. 35 years later, 35 year old interior. I mean, this car was obviously kept in some sort of climate control, uh, heated, air conditioned, dehumidified garage. Back in here, look at this, the first aid kit's still in there. This thing is off the hook, man. This is like one of those cars, you know, this is one of those cars you could actually take to a show, believe it or not. You say, well, how do you take a four-door Mercedes to a show? First off, this car here has great looks, so it could easily win just on looks alone. But secondly, it's in that preserved category uh, or originality, uh, and you could enter it that way there, and you'd really, uh, this thing would just shine in any car show you'd go to. All right, so we'll wheel our way into the front. All right, that sound right there, that's the key in buzzer. How cool is that? That's pretty cool. All right, so power windows, air conditioning, uh, climate control. Check out this Becker. Uh, this is Europa 2 stereo, AM, FM, and even looks beautiful in this car, okay? This is the replacement ashtray that we looked at. The other one in the back has wood on it, which I think looks really nice. I'd almost put it right back in because it looks great. Great looking shift knob. Look at the condition of the wood and the dash. 31,564 miles are showing on the odometer right there. And just a spectacular, spectacular piece of, uh, I don't know, history. This is a very expensive car for its time. And on top of it, you can tell, I mean, it really does make a, like, listen to that, man. This is Mercedes of back of the day. You go close a car, a Mercedes door today, I'm not really convinced that it sounds exactly like that. And on top of it, you know, these cars were uh, overdrive automatics, uh, fuel injected, uh, four-wheel disc brakes. I mean, they have a long list of uh, really cool things. We talked about the, the power windows and locks um, and all the other good little stuff that you get on a Mercedes, not to mention, uh, you know, these cars are designed to, to, to travel 300,000 miles. If you go throughout uh, Europe and uh, the Middle East and things like that, you see these cars are taxi cabs. The reason they're taxi cabs is they last. They may be expensive, but they last. Even like all this stuff here is still working. All right, how about we start it up and you can see how smooth it is. Starts easy, the fuel injection is nice. Sounds great. Look at that, man. Super nice, easy. You know, in closing the video up on this pretty cool piece, you're talking about a car that's driven around a thousand miles a year. A thousand miles a year. Uh, it comes with uh, the original owner's manuals, the warranty books, two sets of keys, you know, it's that kind of car that uh, obviously was preserved and uh, over time used very sparingly and it's really just turned out to be an awesome, awesome piece. And I gotta tell you, if you want a really cool car in your life, a car that you could actually drive some, okay? It's not like it has 400 miles on it, but 30,000 miles on it, that you could drive a little bit, you could take to a show, go out to dinner in, have some fun with a really cool car that doesn't cost a gazillion bucks, this is that kind of car. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about the 77 Mercedes 280 SE.